Hello friends, still on manipulation. Today we are going to be looking at how we can create 3D pop art effects in Adobe Photoshop. This is Twisted Creative. Allow me my name. If it's your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting the subscribe button, also ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's get into it. This is my Photoshop and this is the model we are going to be using and secondly, this is an iPhone. The last one is an indoor photo which we are going to be using as our background. We are going to be starting by creating a new document by using our control N. We change our unit to inches. The width should be 5, the height should be 7. Then the resolution can be 600 so as to have it strong. Then we can use any background, it can be transparent. Let's, okay, let's take transparent and the rest things are okay. Then we just hit create. So now we are going to be bringing in the iPhone. Then take our move tool and drag this iPhone to our new document. So this is the iPhone. For us to make it balance, let's bring out a ruler, like one horizontal ruler. Let's bring out one horizontal ruler and place somewhere here. Let's place it here. Then for us to make this phone balance, we can rotate like this to, to match it to the line. Let's zoom in and see. Let's match it to the line horizontally. Then I think it's okay like this. So there is something we can use for this line later. Let's bring the line. Let's bring the line to to the screen like this. Use the line to match the screen. So we have to make this table straight by using our rectangular marquee tool to drag around to choose a particular point to cut from. Then right click and feather with 8 or 9. Then hit OK. Select the image and delete. Then we'll use our Ctrl D to deselect. Now we are going to be bringing in the image. So this is the image. Let's take our move tool and drag image on our new document. We are going to be fitting this image to this phone by reducing the opacity or the fill. With the opacity like this, we'll be able to adjust this image to fit it to the screen of the phone. The hand and the foot should not go outside the frame. So let's say if we still reduce like this, I think it's going to be okay. Let's say like this. Then let's come down a bit. Come down a bit. We'll make sure the foot will not go out of the frame also. Then the hands will not go out of the frame. Then you see, bear in mind that, okay, this edge should not go into the frame. I think it's okay like this. Like the foot, you can see the foot here. It's already inside. Then the hand on the floor is already inside. I think we are okay with this. We have to increase our opacity back to 100. Now, have the image properly placed on the phone. We are going to be using our Ctrl J two times to duplicate this image to, so that we can get three copies. We are doing Ctrl J one, two. So we have extra copies. Then we'll take this one down. We are going to be using the last, the, the bottom one for before and after. We are going to disable the top layer. We we'll select the second layer and reduce opacity to trace the phone screen. We have to zoom in and pick our lasso tool and start tracing. We have to trace the phone screen. So now we are done with the selection of the screen. We have to go back to the opacity and take it back to 100. Right click and select inverse. Then we right click again and feather with 2. Then hit OK. We disable the bottom layer and delete the reverse side of the layer too. We use our Ctrl D to deselect. We have the bottom side of the image on the phone. So we are going to select this top layer and enable the top layer. Then grab our object selection tool and we can drag around the image for the selection. Boom, selected. Then you have to make your corrections.
we don't have anything to do with do with the downside so we can remove from here to here let's go in there and correct this area i think we should be okay with this so so this is it So initially, I said we should leave this line. That was the reason why we left this line, so that we know where the phone stop. We are going to be deleting the background of this image now. We are going to right-click and select inverse. Then we right-click again and feather with two, then hit OK. Then we are going to push our delete like three times. So we are going to do one, two, three. Then we are going to use our Ctrl D to deselect. Now look at what we have. So if I disable this guy now, you notice that we have nothing up there. So if I enable it, you see it's complete. So we can now remove this ruler so that it's not going to distract us. So let's go. I believe it's looking great already. So the next thing we do, we have to go in and bring in the background. This is the background. We don't really need that much. We have to cut out some areas like this. I believe this area will be okay. Then use our Ctrl C to copy, then our Ctrl V to paste. Then we'll pick our move tool and drag it to our project. Then we can drop it here and expand. Then just hit OK. You can go to can go to filter, blur, then Gaussian blur. You can blur to any level, like let's say 31. Let's say 31 is OK. Hit OK. Then we we'll have it here. We can bring it down underneath the phone so this is phone layer this is a phone layer so we have to be it has to be under the phone the ear speaker of the phone we need to expose it by selecting the phone then we can put up the image layer two of the image layers then let's select this area use our lasso tool to mask it around you stay more of the inside so we have it selected now we can enable this to we have to select this layer which is going to be affecting the hand here then we right click and feather with two then we'll push delete once then we we'll have the speaker exposed there or reviewed so this is it we have to place something like a light ray coming out from the phone so how can we go about that we have to select the top layer then go to adjustment layer and choose solid color we can choose any color it doesn't matter we can change it later just hit ok then we we'll have to bring this solid color adjustment layer down to the background so as we can we'll be able to see everything with our, the help of our lasso tool we can just start from here then take it up like this take it up like this then go back here and end it here on the phone i believe like this is okay just give it a little space so we have to take this thing back up there then we we'll right click and select inverse then right click again and feather with 70 feather with 70 and hit okay so we have to make sure this layer max is selected this white area of the layer max we have to make sure it's selected then we'll push our delete like once or twice then we'll use our ctrl d to deselect with the adjustment layer layer max selected take your marquee tool then drag around the top area of the adjustment layer and right click and feather with let's say 400 400 and hit ok then you push your delete so this is what we have make sure the adjustment layer is selected then you can reduce the opacity of the adjustment layer so you can see what we have here most times i believe that darkening the background will make the effect pop more we have to select the background layer go to image adjustment brightness and contrast then we can reduce the brightness of the background and increase the contrast of the background. Then we can hit OK. Let's check the before and after of adding light. So this is before and this is after. This is before and this is after. Isn't that amazing? Then you can double click the adjustment layer and 
can move the color from one color to another like if you ask me i will tell you that this color that is mixing with the color that is putting on that is blue and purple should be okay for this then i hit okay for this isn't that amazing so this is it this is before this is after this is before this is after isn't that amazing so i believe that is it for today if you find it interesting helpful and useful let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has helped the area it has not and the area it would have helped like i said earlier if you are new on this channel please still do me a favor do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button not just by hitting that subscribe button also hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video thanks for watching today's video creative people keep on creating please stay creative continue creating bye for now see you in the next one bye